<clears throat> bushcraft knives. There's a bunch of them out there. I don't have anything overly expensive as far as to what I carry. This knife right here I got when I was in Boy Scouts. It's got the Boy Scout logo on it. It, uh, Western is the name on it. This is what I consider almost a perfect knife. I it good size, cuts well, keeps an edge for a long time. Um, carried it forever in Boy Scouts. Carried it most of my adult life. Um, sheath has actually been ripped out and needs a bunch of repair on it. But you know, I think it's older than I am. I actually quit carrying it probably a year and a half ago. You know, I, I don't want to lose it. I got a lot of memories with that knife. More, I, I bought a couple of those. They are actually uh, maybe, I don't know, 15, 16 bucks on Amazon. I've, I've carried it a few times. I like them. They keep an edge good. I just, I don't care for the handle. The shape of it's nice. It's comfortable. I just don't like rubber. I like leather or wood for my handles. Uh, also, I don't care for the plastic sheath. I like leather, but it's one that I've been playing around with. I've, I've got one that my dog decided he wanted to chew on, chewed up the handle and the sheath. I may actually take it out of the rubber handle and put my own handle on it, make a new sheath for it and carry that. You know, the blade is obviously still good on it. This knife is a cheap knife. No clue where it came from. It's overly heavy. It's sharp. Keeps a decent edge. It's a uh, you know full tang, but I don't need all this stuff up here. You know, made in China. That's all it says. There's no rust on it, so I'm assuming it's at least partially stainless steel. Way too heavy. I don't carry stuff like this it's too big of a knife for me and plus it's just a cheap knife you know fit and finish is rough on it you know I, I suppose it's better than nothing but just not my style this buck knife I don't care for the powder coating whatever's on here but keeps a good edge this is a buck you know made in the USA I don't like the handle on it. I don't like the feel for it. Carried it in a bug out bag for, or I guess a get home bag is what I carry, a get home bag forever. Um, did fine, never had any problems out of it. It's just if you're doing a lot of cutting or whittling, that handle kind of digs in a little bit. But that is an option. The Open Nil, I bought three sizes of them several months ago and have been playing around with them. Um, most people like to have a fixed blade, especially if you're going to be real hard on it. Uh, this, I never abused them. I did carry them. Super sharp, but they don't keep an edge very long. Very soft. But yeah, that is an option. That's a good size blade. It's compact. Got it in just a junky sheath I made out of some scrap leather. guy at work had this knife. I actually bought the knife just for the sheath. Uh, it is a old timer trade. A little bit heavier and bigger than I like. That The handle's thick on it. You know, brass is real big. I actually added a half inch ferrule rod to this. I was playing, playing around with leather, you know, just seeing what I could do. It actually turned out really good. It's one of my favorite sheaths. Something else you can do is Old Hickory Butcher Knives. This is actually a Frontier Forge, which I, I think is close, but a different brand. This one I, I cut down. I actually cut the handle down on it and cut, I think, a couple inches off the blade, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, never finished the edge on it where I reprofiled, but I like the feel of this knife. It's a good size. It's comfortable. 
and I would actually prefer this over something heavier, you know, like this. These, I don't baton with my knives. I never have. I, I don't foresee me ever needing to. I just, I don't do it. I always carry a, a hatchet with me. These can be picked up. I think you can still get old hickories, you know, for less than $10 brand new. I do uh, occasionally watch eBay, you know, for lots. See if you can get several old knives together. They're just kind of fun to play with. Uh, this is actually the first leather sheath I ever made for a knife practicing wet molding. <clears throat> like I say, these are a couple of the knives. You know, a couple different options of what you could go with if you're, you know, looking for one or, you know, just something to start out. You know, the cheap knives from Walmart, I would stay away from. You can get an old hickory or something similar, even the more for less than what you're going to pay for the cheap ones most times, and they're better quality knives. I, I like both of these. Like I said, I've carried this one the last month or two to see how it feels. I don't like the knife. I think the handle's too heavy. It's not balanced well. It doesn't feel good in my hand. But those are kind of some knives and a couple options as to what you have and what you could use. You know, this knife right here, I'd really like to find another one. I think Case made a version of this with this handle. Um, there was a Boy Scouts of America had a knife. I don't think, like I said, I don't think this is the one that came with the sheath, but they made a knife about this size that fit in the sheath. Might see if I can find one of those. I, I really like these. I'm definitely going to put the. Uh, fire still on the side of it. I really, really, really like that a lot. That's one of my favorite features of it. Moore has got a heavier duty knife out. Um, Garberg, I think is what it's called. It's a full tang, which a lot of people swear by. You know, I've, I've never broken a knife, but I'm not overly hard, overly hard on them. You know, I do a little cutting with it, cord, whatever. Maybe skin an animal, you know, that's about it. I, I don't beat them. I, I don't pry with them, so I've never broken one. But they've got a full tang one that I really like the, uh, you know, the, the size of the knife. I I haven't bought it. It's a hundred and something dollars. I, and I really wish I could buy just the blank. I'd put my own handle on it. But those are a few knives, a couple options you have, a couple what I carry. You know, I kind of rotate them out a little bit, you know, just to get you an idea of what I carry and what's available out there and my thoughts on them.